It's Tuesday, December 9th, 2014. I'm Soren Baker, and this is DX Daily. Last week, Lil Wayne dropped a bomb. The New Orleans rapper sent out a series of tweets saying that he no longer wants to be on Cash Money Records and that the label has refused to release his The Carter Five. In an interview published by DJ Vlad today, Lil Wayne's former label mate said he supports Wayne 1,000%. That's impressive. Check the clip from Turk. You know, people come to a, a, a conclusion in their life, you know what I'm saying? Well, enough is enough, I guess, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and I support Wayne 1,000%, you know what I'm saying? I support anybody that's wanting to do their own thing, man, and, you know, be independent, especially being the age that we are now, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be no problem if a person want to, you know, branch out if that's what he want to do, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it should be no problem. You know, we came in the game together, you know, um, we put in a lot of work with cash money, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Wayne have held cash money up even when we left, and my head goes out to him, man, you know, he, he, he held it down and he put in his, his, his grind, you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes things just come to an end, you know what I'm saying? We just have to see how it's gonna all play out. Turk then discussed Cash Money's business practices. Check hiphopdx.com to see what he had to say. Now that didn't take long. Mere hours after a purported track list for Kendrick Lamar's forthcoming album hit the net, TDE's top dog came out and said that it was bogus. Here's what he had to say. Yes, the new album track list floating on the net is real fake, LMAO. Don't believe the hype if it doesn't come from my page or K Dots. Hashtag TDE. The fake track list featured collaborations with Dr. Dre, Pete Rock, J-Rock, George Clinton, and Ron Isley. Which of those artists do you think will make the final cut? Hit us up in the comments section and let us know. On Friday, Beanie Siegel was shot in the abdomen near his New Jersey home. He remains in serious condition. Hip Hop DX caught up with fellow Philadelphia rapper Cassidy, who was in Los Angeles for his ether battle with disaster. Here's what Cassidy had to say about Beanie Siegel. Check the clip. See, well, that's my bro, man. Wish him the best. Hope he recover quickly and everything good with him. Hip Hop DX hopes that Beanie Siegel makes a full and speedy recovery. Also, we would like to send our condolences to Young B and his family. The California battle rapper apparently died of gunshot wounds last night. Rest in peace. Those are today's top headlines. Let us know what you think in the comments section. And always, for more music and news, check out Hip Hop DX.